Hey guys, it's Carrie. Um, today I'm here with four different outfits by, um, I think it's Zuru? Funville? Uh, it's Funville. It, it doesn't say Zuru, but for some reason I thought Zuru was a Sparkle Girls maker, but they're Funville, Funville Sparkle Girls fashion outfits. I have four different ones. I thought I had five, but, uh, <laughs> If I find the fifth one, I guess I'm just going to have to do that off camera. Um, so I, I bought these. I actually admittedly don't have a Sparkle Girl in my collection. My niece is obsessed with Sparkle Girls, but um, these ones... I, I bought these with intention to see if they'll fit on any of the girls that I have already. Um, I don't have the girls that I was going to originally put them on yet, so I'm going to uh, show you guys... I'm going to use Barbies. We'll see what they look like on Barbies. I don't know if... I'm sure someone's done this or seen this before, but let's just take a look. I'm going to use them on my color reveal Barbies because, well, let's just face it. Their outfits are kind of draw. But uh, let's get into this. So the first outfit I'm opening is going to be this outfit right here. One of the ones that I'm most excited about. What it seems like with these fashion packs is they all come with one accessory. So they either come with a purse or shoes, but not a purse and shoes. And it looks like they're all one piece, but they have an illusion of being more than one piece, which is really cool because they use different fabrics. Oh, and for the record, I got these at Walmart for, I think they were like $1.97 each, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Okay, so the purse is pretty hollow. Let's see if I can get that to focus on camera. But it's really, really cool. The detail on it, it has like this tassel on the front. And it's like a almost a transparent bubblegum pink. I believe this piece right here will come apart. So you can, uh, you know, actually put something in there if you want. But it's not really supposed to be opening. And then it has the, uh, like a braided top part of the shoulder strap. You know, keep your shoulders from hurting if you put too much in there. Okay, so as you can see, I ran into a problem here. They are not going to fit on Barbie. I guess that the Sparker Girls are a little bit shorter and maybe more stockier because I'm getting camel toe and I'm still not, it's still not fitting her. So let's try a different girl. We're going to try this outfit on her. Um, she's about the same size, but I think she might have more wiggle room for this. I don't know. Okay, well that's a no too. I guess these are really specifically just for the just for the Sparkle Girls, so that was a fashion fail for me. Well darn, that was a video fail. I guess you can't win all of them. But uh, they have really, really cool outfits that are out there. I guess that's probably why I don't see more people do reviews on their outfits that aren't Sparkle Girl fans themselves. Um, this one might work, though. Does this one have a stopper? This one might work. Maybe it's just the pantsuit that doesn't work. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so this outfit actually doesn't look too bad on her, guys. I don't think. Yeah. She could pull this one off. Okay, so it wasn't a total veil of video. So note to self that the pant outfit is only going to probably fit the actual Sparkle Girls. So let me... Now that I know that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume this one's going to give them camel toe. Right here. But let me check out this other outfit that I have that's a dress on one of my other girls here. Okay, so those are the two fashion pack outfits that we actually are going to take a look at. Uh, I'm not going to bother opening this one because we know that we don't have any girls that, that are going to fit uh, the hemline or the, uh, the crotch line on the dress. But overall, uh, so the dresses do fit fashion dolls. And these may have fit the Barbie, but I'm not going to go into that again. Um, let's see. Does this look better with this than that? I don't know. But uh, this, uh, I had to change her shoes. So these shoes did not come with the outfit. Um, but you got this really cute dress here. It's all one piece. Uh, we got greens in it. We got reds in it. We got pinks in it. So, uh, And it also has this cool little clutch purse that's got... Um, like a mocking of like leather tassely stuff on the edge of it. And uh, like I said, the shoes don't go to it, but I needed to get something for pink. 
The other girl on this side, she's wearing a, a full dress here that's got the magenta pink on the top. Um, and then some cool, it's, 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 the, both of these dresses, I think, have, like, a hippie 70s type style, like a mod style to them, and they express themselves while being on the girls. I took her, her shoes that she had on before and put them on her, and gave her her purse so she had some red accessories. Um, either way, I think they look a lot better than what they were wearing before. Not that I hated what they were in before, I was dealing with that. Um, and... That's it for our video today. <laughs> so yeah, worth it in price, but uh, mostly may maybe just they're just made for Sparkle Girls or anything within the Sparkle Girl line. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.